Hello, hello. Happy Saturday. I hope you're not all digging into mince pies while I still have to organise mine. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. Welcome back. So I thought I'd do a little mini series. And I'm going to call it 12 Days of Christmas in Reverse. I thought it might be a nice idea to do a short project every day between today and Christmas Eve where we could build up some bits of ephemera and I'm going to call it 12 days in reverse because what I'm planning to do is instead of a partridge in a pear tree for example working all the way up from 1 to 12 I'm going to work backwards so today I'm going to do 12 items tomorrow 11 the following day 10 and so on and so forth. Build it, uh, sliding down to number one, where I thought, you know, we as we're going down in the numbers, we can do more in-depth things in the same amount of time. So this morning, I have quickly rummaged through my forever growing, never seeming to empty scraps tub, and I have made 12 little snippets so I did four like that and then I did four like that and then I did four like that so I thought yeah it's day one so I want to make 12 and obviously I don't want to be here all day so the idea is to do something that's quite quick so I had you can see it's been chopped around now. But I had this freebie page from Artie Mays. I've got um, more bits here. There's stamps and things. They also come from Artie Mays. And I have got loads of little tickets and things from Tracy Fox. I've obviously got some music paper. I've got some of this page that I'm in love with at the moment and so on and so forth there's more Artie Mays bits here and I'm just going to do some snippets use up some scraps but in line with it I'm going to as I say do 12 so let's push that back out of the way I've got a book page out of this beautiful book that I told you before I'm just going to go roughly in thirds like that I've told you about this book before the paper feels almost like fabric. It's absolutely delightful. And just like that, I've torn that page into six, okay? So there are the first six of our 12. I'm going to use a piece of trusty cheesecloth. So I'm just going to snip off a little chunk. I'm going to then divvy this up between them all. So I'm going to like cut it in half. And then I'm just going to sort of go one, two, three, one. And I suppose in a roundabout way, two, three. This is a bit like mass making. It allows us to get on and do things quite quickly to build up a bit of a stack. And I did work out that if we do this, you know, the 12 day idea of going down 12, 11, 10, etc. In the 12 days, we will have produced, oops, ink on my finger. We will have produced 78 pieces of ephemera. In no time at all, because I'll be very surprised if I'm here with you for more than half an hour. So, there's one. I'm just going round now, inking up the edges. So, what have you all been up to? Are you getting plenty of crafting in, or are you all busy with a giant C word? I've stopped with regard to crafting on the Christmas front now I'm looking to move more into sort of 
winter or maybe even spring so as much as I'm loving the atmosphere that I'm still trying to create a bit difficult this year having carols on the TV and the Christmas lights on and all of that crafting wise Christmas is gone and over for me so no reason you couldn't do these in Christmas style build your stash ready for next year but obviously if you wanted to do them to be suitable for lots of projects then you may want to keep them non-specific as it were and then all I'm going to do is I've got this one for example I'm going to whoops run my prick stick through the middle I'm going to stretch out my cheesecloth and I'm going to decide where to pull it and on that one I'm going down that side so that's that one done and I'm just going to go through and do them all in this way and then I'm going to do a different six so feel free to play along with me to get your 78 pieces made up and ready in your stash box to use for your bigger product uh, projects obviously we're also working through the scraps box which is always nice although if you're anything like me it doesn't matter how much you use it it never seems to vanish it seems to be the bane of crafting especially with paper actually I think that's not true because years ago when I used to do quilting I always had remnants of fabric and I was always trying to use those scraps up as well so I think we're right in that it's just a crafting issue so that's that one put him in a bit and then we've just got two more to go you see that's how quick it is now obviously making snippets is nothing new it's something I'm sure that you all do a lot it makes some um, great interest on our pages that one for some reason has not got glue in the right place there we go and then that one I'm going to do across the top this that's a little bit different There we go. Oops, my finger. Got glue on my finger now. So there we go. There is our six little bits. And then I'm going to get my scissors out and I'm going to have a little hunt around. So I do like these oversized stamps. So let's get rid of that. So I'm going to... Um, I know it's make life easy. I'm just going to cut up there and go... I'm going to use these six here okay now obviously if you've got to hand some of the scallop scissors or some pinking shears that's absolutely fine and you can get those shapes I own about seven pairs of those shape scissors and I can't find a single one of them so I'm just straight cutting these. I suppose that's an indication, is it not, that I should be tidying up my craft room. Oh, I say craft room, craft table. I've put you up a little bit higher today. I don't know if that's better for you or not. I think potentially... I'm more likely to knock the camera so in that respect it's not going to be better for you that's for sure but anyway so there is four and then the last two now as I said this particular sheet um, 
I don't believe is a freebie on Artie Mays. I believe this is a paid for one. But she do she do have she does have goodness me, Claire, you're English. She does have many um freebies that you could go along and get some items to use to do these. Definitely she has butterflies on her freebies and those images I just showed you of the people they 100% come from the freebie section of her website and then I'm just going to use a little bit of music paper on each one like that um, and then I think we're going to want one other thing and I'm just trying to decide what it's probably going to be because I like to have four things on them. Um, I don't know. While I think about it, let's get these inked up and stuck down. So, I'm not going to ink the stamps. I'm only going to ink the music paper. I think the stamps have got enough colour in them already. So I'll just do this music paper. Now this music paper that I'm using here is actual music paper. It's not print. Um, but there's no reason you couldn't use a print. Especially as you're going to be sticking it down. And not seeing the other side and I know there's lots of people that offer music paper within their kits um, some people have even got entire kit that's only you know music so that could be a way to go there that's that one and then this last one And I think tomorrow what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 11 envelopes tomorrow. I will be cheating in that I will be using my envelope punch board just because I find that it makes life very quick and easy. But you can obviously, well, you don't have to do envelopes, you do whatever you like. But if you're playing the game, as it were, you will need to do... 11 of whatever it is that you do okay and that one goes under there love things at an angle there you go just like that very quick very easy um and we are halfway through today's mini challenge as it were so i'm just trying to work out it goes that way i believe or does it go that way? No, it goes that way. And of course, we are clearing out a bit of scrap, which is always nice. Always nice. Um, so yes, yeah, sorry, I was just thinking what I could use as my fourth thing. I might do them all slightly different. I might do, say, two of one thing, two of another, and two of another. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Diamante split pins. Definitely on two of them. And then I'll work out what I'm going to put on the other. You can also, obviously, stitch these or whatever you'd like to do further interest you may want to not add the fourth item you may want to leave that until you're actually placing them in a journal so you know exactly you know what color or theme that you're doing in your journal you may want your fourth thing to be relevant to that
there we go so I'm just going to do the two Dear Monty ones um, oh actually I might do a bit of stamping so those two I'm going to stamp and this one That one there, got a little Diamante stone in. And those two, I'm going to leave to decide what I want to do with them when I know which journal or whatever I'm doing them for, and then I can add something appropriate. But in the meantime, I've got two diamond ones, and in my little whoops sorry see i knew this was a bad position to have you in didn't i do apologize but these two because of the stamps i'm just gonna put a postage ring on the bottom and then i'm gonna put posted lines through there so there you go that's those six done very quick wasn't it doesn't take any time at all so that's those and those two waiting to be finished when I know what they are and then I'm just literally going to pull from the box so I've got this beautiful handmade paper I'm going to tear that like that and I'm going to make two with these and then I'm going to choose something else that's antique paper uh, Come on, Claire, you said this was going to be quick. Oh, look at this. I'm, I'm going to use some of this lovely London invoice. So I'm going to tear that down there. I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to use all of that one. So that's my next six. Now here I have got some altered travel tickets. These come from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Um, I think I'm going to use two of those. We'll use that one on there, that one on there. I'm then going to use I don't know if you can hear that buzzing in the background hubby's up just jet washing the garden path because there is um, an awful lot of moss settling for some reason sounds very bizarre I know but I don't know if it's just where it's been damp and nobody's been out there much. But there seems to be quite a lot of moss. And then I need two more, don't I? So I'm going to have these two ladies. So that one on there, that one on there. And then we need a bit of background. So I'm going to have some of the blue to go on that one. You see, tiny little scraps. You really don't need very much at all when you're doing these. I've got a number 29 there. That's a bit of stamping. Um, I'm trying, obviously, not to use music paper again because we've already just done that. Oh, look at that. That's obviously some stamping I need to hold on to. I'm going to use that there. 
Do, 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 do. Oh, what's falling out there? And, oh, that's those tickets I just put back. It's a bit of a postcard. Oh, actually, we could use a bit of a postcard. Because if I rip that across there like that, And this is what I love about making snippets and um, small bits like this because they feel like collage. And collage is one of my most favourite things. I don't really want to put cheesecloth on these again. But what I might do, because I have this weird thing that you have to have fabric on everything for some reason, is I'm going to use some of this tea dyed cotton so i'm just gonna tear it down and then i'm just gonna one two so we've got one two Right. So you can see this really doesn't take up any supplies doing things like this. In fact, it helps you to get rid of all those odd little bits. Now, as I say, I choose to use three or four pieces, ideally four. I know people that use loads and loads and loads. So you can, you know, use little shreds of lace and all sorts. In fact, I might get the lace box down and do some lace. I need to stand up for this. Sorry, you can hear my chair squeaking away. So, let's have a look in the lace box. Um, we want something quite small and nondescript, don't we? They're all different colours. I have got this beautiful vintage lace here. Let's pin that back. Let's trim that down. There we go. And then we've got beautiful bit of lace here. So there's one, two, um, three, four, five. Oh, pickle, that wasn't quite right, was it? So, what have I got? Just see, I said it would be quick. Oh, let's have a bit of this heavier crocheted lace for the fifth one okay so here we go let's start with this one here so I'm just gonna trim these off I like these to be square, even though everything else is rough. So I'm going to run my glue. I'm going to put a bit of fabric so that it hangs over the edge. I'm going to have a bit of book, not book, sorry, a bit of that envelope on there. I'm going to have my vintage ticket on top of both of those and then I'm just going to put a rubber glue on there so that I can put my lace on top and there is that one. Okay, now this one we have got our stenciled 29 
and then again the fabric hanging over and then I'm gonna that's Bo scrapping the door now she wants to come in she went up the garden with dad to jet wash and now she's bored and wants to come in see if mum's doing anything more exciting she's in uh, she's in the dog house actually because the little pickle that she is she um, got hold of my fabric bag and chewed a load of fabric up so needless to say I am not happy little monkey that's that one let's work on this one And then I suppose when I've done these with you, I'm going to have to go and do some boring housework. I need to uh, get some washing and ironing done so everyone's got clothes for work next week. Because even when you're at home, it feels important to get dressed for work. I'm just going to peel this up and poke that underneath, like that one. There we go. And then a little bit of glue on there for a lovely bit of, oops, sticking to my fingers, lovely bit of lace. Number three, I'm going to put that one right across there like that so that you it runs between the number and the word invoice. I quite like that. Like that. I'm going to have a piece of fabric on top. I'm going to cut out a photo now obviously you could have inked these all around the edges and the like I decided not to because I wanted um, them to be a little bit brighter than that obviously I inked all of the other ones and then I'm just going to put this here, almost like half a veil, on her photograph. There we go. That's four. Um, I think we'll have the fabric in this corner here hanging off the top and the side and then we've got our travel ticket to come down the middle and then we'll have a we'll have the lace on that side And then we've got our lace on there. That's five. And then here's six. So just like that, very, very quickly, we've added 12 items to our ephemera stack. And we have cleared out, well, maybe not much, but a bit of our scraps. I'm going to put that one 
across there and then where's out there is a piece of lace I'm going to try and put that across there like that right let's get rid of our glue pad so there you go there are the second six and there are the first six so just like that we have created all those extra bits on the first day of our 12 days of Christmas backwards or reversed it was a bit of fun wasn't it stay safe I will see you again tomorrow happy crafting bye for now